then to end it we need to talk about this because i didn't go unfortunately and i saw somebody comment who is it my who commented actually i need to shout you out my guy because you did make a comment and i forgot to reply to you uh where is he where is he who said this yeah so big up my guy who left a comment here luke who said to me hey brother we went to this we queued for 6.5 hours legitimately the best night of my life i kept my eyes peeled for you but didn't see you it was so sick so big up my guy luke for leaving a post on my clip regarding csd at but fucking bergheim unfortunately i couldn't make it this year that was my plan to go i think i made a video clip about it that i was gonna go to berlin to you know specifically go to bergheim for for CSD which is basically Berlin or Germany's version of gay pride and um it was going to be a sick weekend loads of fucking amazing things happened there'll be fucking floats happening during the weekend or that ha did happen during the weekend and a whole weekend full of fucking parties um and stacked lineups and of course Bergheim was no different they had an amazing CSD night line up here um with all the fucking rooms open from Bergheim Panorama Bar to the Garden to Saul um all of my favorite DJs playing here you got Partook I'm a big fan of Steffi Virginia Jennifer Cardini Sedif Astai um obviously Panorama Bar you got Chris Cruz who I love um and Backhammer a legend who I feel doesn't get the ratings he deserves Mike Starr who I love also Roy Perez who's also great the Carrie Nation's fucking fantastic um in the garden imagine in the garden playing back-to-back -back Cormac and FKA M4A that would have been a vibe and of course the couple Lakuti and Tamo Soma also playing there so a really sick lineup really really amazing now the only thing that was fucking bad about this was that the queues were fucking insane. As my guy Luke was saying, I'm reading on the fucking Ber Berkheim fucking subreddit. People were waiting in the queue for seven hours to go to Berghain. Seven hours. And I feel really bad. I feel really ridiculous for being the person that complained when I went in like June or February, I think, for the Sylvester that time. And I waited like four hours. I felt like a fucking idiot i felt like a loser i felt fucking you know i felt humiliated somewhat especially when you're standing in that hot fucking queue and you got all these locals trying to jump the queue cut the queue in front of you then you're getting into arguments with people in the queue and you want to beat them up but then you know if you try and be aggressive and be all black and angry that most likely it's not going to help you get in so you have to kind of temper your mood and shout them through gritted teeth while you're still coming down from the night before fucking awful so i was waiting four hours for that time right four hours was bad enough but at least with my four hours, it was kind of tricky because I feel like Bergheim do a really good job of making you wait. Because what happens usually, when I was queuing for four hours, as per this picture here from this guy standing, who's this? Oh, this is Face Fatal, no? Yeah, that is Face Fatal. So as you can see from this picture here, um, from Face Fatal standing outside Bergheim with his lovely little crop top on, when I was waiting there for four hours, I was about here in the queue, which is quite close to the door, just near the fences. I was just about there which kind of gives you a false sense of hope that you're going to be next because the queue's moving like a snail pace, but you can see the door. So I stayed there, but I can't imagine waiting for seven hours and being way, way at the back near the fucking, you know, near the fucking um, Speti, near fucking the car park and shit. I couldn't imagine ever doing that. So big up everybody who stood there in line, who was that patient during the CSD over there to fucking wait for it because I couldn't imagine that that would be fun. Now I did hear, I did hear inside, it was fucking hella, hella fun. I feel like for the most part, if you're an experienced Bergheim goer, you know that, you know, although those events are really fun, they also do um, invite everybody under the sun, right? Everybody under the sun sort of attracted to go because usually the lineup is stacked. As you can see from the list here, you got a lot of bang for your buck when you go to these sort of events. But unfortunately, the whole fucking world descends over there in Burkhine. But I did hear the vibe inside was fucking immaculate. No one had any bad word to say. So it's good to hear fucking that shit happen. Um, let's actually see this. Someone said this actually. What's this? this is a fucking long post. Is this person a DJ? Pera Imandu. So this person said... I was 17 the first time I set foot in Panorama Bar and since that day, I've repeatedly dreamt of playing there. Okay, so they were a DJ. So big up you for playing. Basically, every time I find a track I love, I listen to it with my eyes closed, imagining myself standing behind the decks. I know, roll eyes. After the first visit, I kept coming back weekend after weekend after weekend. I still believe that it's important to be a raver before being a DJ. I definitely agree with that. But as a teenager, I look, um, I took what that, 
I, I, sorry, but as a teenager, I took what I thought a bit too seriously. Needless to say, in all the years that have passed, this bitch and I have been through a lot. It's the place where I learned to really freely move my body, prosumers closing sets in t igniting my deep love of house music. That one time a guy climbed up the chains when the booth was still hung from the ceiling. Oh yeah, I remember that shit. There was a time, yeah, there was a time when the fucking speakers were hung by chains on the ceiling in fucking Panama Bar. They've changed it now, but that was actually quite cool. Uh, ba -ba um, meeting lovers in the in the glowy fog on Monday mornings. I got a job at the bar, the fire alarms, the disappearance of the hardwood floors, the sex in the stores, the countless Long Island iced teas, the night I broke my foot, the new sound systems, the changing lights, Wolfgang Tillman's photographs, Virginia sharing shots with the front row, and then getting fired from that same bar so that same bar job again lol and although i kept on closing my eyes visualizing the day that many uh that may play this floor i had fallen in love with i never ever imagined walking up to the door and saying it spiel hut um closing it was what's, what what does that mean what is it spiel hut abend closing what's that does that mean i'm playing the closing it was truly honestly a big big dream come true okay enough cheese Dunke bergheim um and an amazing artist like take care of me this weekend Dunke live from earth for this insane full circle moment and your love and trust and lastly thank you to all the angels that stayed with me to the very end and the places i wanted the daylight in my eyes so yeah so big up them they seem fucking amazing i'm glad that they got to play there it seems fucking sick what did i say here? uh oh someone said burger i knew nine order cool that's nice to see be safe work hard and milk those drink daddies for all they're worth boom 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 breaking of the foot more pictures of friends outside of Bergheim. If you don't go to Bergheim, if you don't go to Bergheim, and if you're sober, I would like to talk with you. Fucking love it. So that's pretty cool. So nice to see. But yeah, um, clearly when you go there, there's always an issue with waiting inside the queue and being there for too long. And I feel like they do a good job of fucking keeping you in there because everybody kind of wants to be inside and see what the hype is about. And actually, to be honest, once you spend two hours in the queue, what's three hours? Three hours doesn't really mean much, right? If you spend one hour, you might as well spend three. If you spend three, you might as well spend six. So it kind of makes sense. But there are some people that I'm seeing who said that they spent longer in the queue than they spent inside. They spent seven hours in the queue and only were in the fucking you know dance fucking for five hours which is fucking insane i can't imagine spending that much time in there i don't think even at my peak of my times collecting trainers and being into streetwear did i queue outside of a store that long i don't think so uh, most of the time as all well, you had a break you could go home to refresh and stuff and get some food so the fact that these people were that patient says a lot about them and says that you know they've got a great little community out there with people so big up everybody that was able to make it unfortunately i couldn't and i'm hopefully going to be there in august sometime that's the fucking plan so fingers crossed that happens but yeah i'm gutted i couldn't go and what i'm gonna do now going forward i think especially for next year is just pre-book fucking um pride weekend -er. Do you know what I mean? Because clearly the Pride Weekend are over there in fucking Berlin is another fucking level. And obviously you get a chance to do all these fucking amazing shits and party and have a good time. And obviously the lineups are fucking awesome and everybody's fucking loving it. So big up everybody that went and had a good time. I wish I was fucking there. I really do. Uh, big up Kim Ann here saying, felt a bit cheeky, might delete. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at that. I just noticed that actually. Look at that. Little heart-shaped butt crack out there. Big up Kim Ann. Love to see that. So yeah, she was out there doing her thing. So good to see. And some more pictures, obviously, of people out there in the queue and stuff. You got Bash Bashak obviously there. Bashka, sorry, did the great things. Um Sebastian Bain is there. Loads of other pictures of people there. So yeah, everyone tagging it. Everyone had a good time. I kind of wish I was there. Again, a little bit of FOMO, but hey, I'll be there once again in August anyway. So no worries about that. Oh, cheeky picture inside the luge. You're not meant to do that. You're not meant to fucking take pictures inside very cheeky but big up you anyway big up you anyway so nice to see is that enough picture inside it again no way okay so that's the queue okay cool that's just the queue so big up you having a good time you clearly did and big up everybody for enjoying themselves and hopefully to be the next and the wristband there which says something about diversify was it diversity or diversify diversity obviously so big up them having a good time enjoying themselves i shall be back there very very soon very very soon.